is that as well as us wanting action potentials which are very precise, we want them to be very fast. Remember, all of our communication systems in our body, whether they be hormonal or neuronal, are about increasing our ability to, to behave, alter our behaviour for survival, to behave in a certain way according to the environment we see or feel or sense. And hormones are a bit longer lasting uh, and slower acting, but nerves are really fast. And so speed is a hugely important thing in making sure that our responses can be as fast as possible to aid survival. And so when I talked about an axon, which had bang, 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 all of these voltage gated channels opening like dominoes, okay, that is very fast. The diffusion of the pluses into this next area that cause the next uh, action potential and the next openings, it does happen very fast. But no matter how fast it is, it still needs to be bang, 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 bang. And there are hundreds of thousands of these. Um, the, and it's going to be time consuming relative to how quick it could be. And this type of scenario here is called an unmyelinated axon. And this does happen, particularly in more primitive organisms. An advancement of evolution is that let me do this in a different colour. Axons have developed myelin sheaths, which are lipids, a fatty lipid that coats the axon. And you remember this from GCC. This is the, the lipid, okay. and this is called a node of Rondier. And what is able to happen, which is quite amazing, is that this is able to hugely speed up the transmission of the action potential down the neuron. Because instead of going bang, 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 bang along the whole membrane, the action potential is able to jump between the nodes of Rombier. So it would greatly speed up. So if it's only here and here and here and here that you get depolarization, then that is capable of happening much more quickly than doing the individual voltage gated channel openings. And the actual way it works, because I, I myself find this um, a little mystifying, but we are able by depolarization here to instantly, through the movements of ions and the way it works, to set a depolarization here, and then here, and then here. It is not a case of there being diffusion here which takes a long time. And then that goes. It's not bang, bang, bang. It's bang, 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 bang. And therefore, we have a much faster transmission of the action potential. The lipid itself uh, ensures that it, it insulates the axon, uh, ensures that there's no leakage. And it actually comes from the cells which assist the nervous system, assist, called glial cells. And they are called Schwann cells, which wrap themselves around the axon, creating this myelin sheath, this covering. And so the action potential is speeded up through the myelin sheaths. There we have the action potential. We go from minus 70 as a resting potential, and then due to a stimulus, or perhaps the uh, introduction of various neuronal signals, we, get, we reach the threshold potential. This threshold potential will cause the sodium voltage gated channels to open, and sodium ions will flood in, making the inside of the axon more positive. We call this 
depolarization. B here is the sodium channel's opening at threshold potential. At D, the voltage-gated sodium channels shut, and we have repolarization as the voltage-gated potassium channels open. E is repolarization. We then get down to F, which is when the voltage-gated potassium shut, and we have hyperpolarization. It's gone hyper is too much. It's gone past, and then we have a return to the resting potential at G, and this is carried out by the sodium potassium pump and the leak potassium channel. The time it takes for the action potential to happen and before the next action potential can uh, occur is called the refractory period. It's like the uh, out of order sign before things can work again. And that, in essence, is a lot due to the inactivity as well as these gates being shut of the voltage gated channels um, to make sure that there's no contamination of charges that might be either diffusing back or flowing back in. And that is the action potential.